Buongiorno, everybody. Buongiorno. Don't you like my hair? This is how I wake up every morning. This is my style. I'm making some coffee. Oh, oh my daddy. My customer gave me some of this organico something from Colombia. He goes to Colombia every so often and he was like, look, Z, this is a Christmas present, but I wasn't here. Shoo, better late than ever, that's what I'm saying. So I'm getting ready. It's Sunday, I believe. My feet are killing me. I have, well, you can't tell, but. Oh, I, did I ever show y'all? I crocheted me some socks. These are fiber flux. Yes, they still have the tails. But underneath that um, pedicure that I got, I think she shaved the hell out of my feet off my callus. The massage was great, but I have these band-aids now. Because it hurts. And I'm walking funny. Walking like... Like my feet hurt. Because <laughs> I know I can't say certain things anymore. Dag nabbit. So let me get ready. I got confirmation that that secret packet oh, arrives either Monday or Tuesday. They're shipping it early. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But I already know how UPS is. They tell me Monday and they ship it Friday. So, I mean, it arrives Friday. So let's see how fast we can get this. I'm going to take all the envelopes. I'm gonna take all the envelopes with me today. I'm gonna to put the address on them. Uh, I gotta stop and get some other stuff to put inside. I'm gonna send out to the first folks that paid. Oh my god, there's this so much. And then I will take a picture and um, send you the confirmation as soon as I mail it. Thank you, thank you. Stitches West or Boss. It's two o'clock. I'm leaving and it just started to rain. Golly! I have a one and a half hour drive. I'm headed towards Claudia's house, but not going to Claudia's house. There's a little hotel that I go stay, regroup. I brought a whole bag of yarn. I got my hooks. patterns. Y'all know I only do video tutorials or a chart, an easy chart. So I have three days there, two nights, three days. Crochet my little heart out. I don't pay for the hotel. It's free. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, food is paid for for one night. Thank you, Jesus. I can stretch that out. I brought my teas. I brought my coffees. I brought sugar. They have a mug. They have a coffee maker in the room. What else? Oh, we're having a party. Um, tomorrow I will do buffet. Tonight, no buffet. Tonight, just probably Mongolian beef, which is incredible because they use ribeye in the Mongolian beef. Oh, oh I love to eat. I got my scarf on. I got my eye. Look, cat. I got my Moldavite and my Sugilite. I have all my envelopes. I'm going to address everybody tonight. Did I tell you all already that I got confirmation? It's supposed to be here Monday. They told me Wednesday. But for some reason, it now says we'll be arriving Monday. So hopefully, Tuesday when I get home, um, the first 15 that, that went ahead and paid, I'm just going to go ahead and put your stuff inside and ship it off. You guys will be the first to see the surprise, surprise! Surprise, surprise, surprise! Who used to watch that? What show is that? Uh, surprise, surprise! Go more pile! I grew up on all those shows. Gomer Pyle, uh, the love boat, soon we'll be making another run. Three's Company, 
come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. Gilligan's Isle? Island? Gilligan's Island? Uh, and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic uh, along this tiny ship. I'm messing up on the songs. What else? The Land of the Lost? With the with the slee stacks. Oh, that used to scare me. What else did I used to watch? I Love Lucy, of course. Twilight Zone, of course. Am I going the wrong way? Mother forker, I sure am. That's what I get for talking. Let me get off freeway and get back on. I gotta go the other way. Well, so I'm off. I'll get back to you later. I'll show you God's work right now. It's beautiful. Guys, why y'all didn't tell me? I forgot my plugs. Can't be walking in an old place like that, looking all holeless. Man, I gotta turn around and go back. <sighs> Man, I wanted to be there already so I can start crocheting. She will occurs. Just go get my solid plugs. My my steel, not my not my color ones. I gotta get my blue ones. Oh for Pete's sake. <sighs> Got off the freeway again. Focus man. Hmm. See I do not have them anymore. Good googly woogly! I put my blue plugs in. You see them? I love these. I also brought my solid steel. I wear one inch plugs. In case anybody's interested, they always ask me and they send me double zero. I'm not double zero. I'm one big zero. One inch. They could be like rings. Ear, I mean, yeah, like a ring, but it's too big. I have... To I have skinny little fingers. Whoa, that's a big black cloud. Holy smoly. Why don't people get these big dogs? Please, I need to let y'all know. I'm filling out the envelopes, and I see only about half have sent me their email address. Um, their, their address where to ship. So, if you've not sent me your email... Ay, ay, ay. If you've not sent me your address where to ship the buttons, I don't know where to send them. So like I said, only about half have sent. Please, please, please send me some but um I can't talk today. <laughs> Woo, look at these clouds. Look at that. God's work. God's work. Beautiful! Beautiful. Wait till I get closer. Oh, there's a stop sign. Wait till you see what's lurking over there. It's black. Look at that. That's a big storm, Big Daddy. It's coming our way. <gasps> oh, man. Needs to hurry. Needs to hurry because I'm going that way. <laughs> and the storm is coming from the back. I usually say backdoor guests are best, but not in this case. Because that's going to be scary. For all those that are wondering, this is Rose Hill Cemetery. Over there. That's where I used to come with Tink and feed the fishies. Right there. Beautiful. You have the right of way, fool. Okay. Bye bye. That's what I'm looking at right now. Looks beautiful though, yeah? It's dark and dreary, but it sure look beautiful. Beautiful! More spacious, guys. <sighs> well, I'm supposed to get on the 60. Chattanooga choo-choo. Won't you choo-choo me home? Ducks. The rain got me, guys. The rain got me. <clears throat> Here, I thought I was going to do good. Look at the mountains over there. 
see. Okay, we're virgin. Mans. Mans, oh mans, oh mans. <sighs> That's what's happening here. We're gonna be all right. Still driving. I have watched Elizabeth, the crafty crocheter. Good Lord Jesus. If y'all ain't watched her, I'll try and put her link down below. Y'all need to watch her. She, she makes shawls like in two a day. I don't know, hats, she makes 30 a day. <laughs> Girl, you be hooking away. I would, I would. I remember when you first started, your shelf was covered in books. I mean, you had probably a thousand books. Then I saw books were being pulled out and yarn was being pulled in. Now I just see a bunch of cubicles, which I'm guessing are filled with yarn. <laughs> so she officially a hooker. Yay! <clears throat> then I also watched Erin give me your 418. I've been watching her for about 10 years or so. I remember she was sick one day and Kristen did one of her videos and she had a sweatshirt on. She's like, Erin is sick, but she really wanted to make this video and I'm the Mac geek. And she had a shirt that said Mac geek. Mac, like a Apple computer, Mac geek. That was funny. I've been watching her a long time. I watched her TGIF. I'll put her link down below. And then I'm watching Billy the the Floridian the crafty Floridian she is collecting hats for the kindergartners in Florida and she's gonna pass them out and oh my gosh Billy you are gonna surpass your mark and what did you want 50 and I think you're past 100 now you all already know YouTube community crochet the hooker community and the knitters we are a tight bunch. Somebody's down and they get lifted up. Y'all lifted me up, yes, uh, two days ago, and I thank you, Jesus, because I was, I was having a hard time here. I'm still having a hard time, but <laughs> we gonna be all right. We always pull through last minute. I don't know. That's how I work. I, I, I'm a last minute procrastinator and. I wait till the last minute and everything happens perfectly. Everything just aligns itself and the puzzles all go together and voila, we're good. So we gonna be all right. Stitches are bust. <sighs> right now I'm gonna take my yarn. Oh my gosh, the rain started again. Pete's sake. Get my yarn, go crochet, probably grab a little lunch, eat half and then the other half I'll eat in the room. Brought my teas, brought my coffee, brought my sugar. I brought my Girl Scout cookies. And I think we're good. Yay. So I'm going to keep watching because I have traffic again. Almost there. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. And it's a boring. He's in rain, and this fool is going 100 miles an hour, you big dope. Why people be going so fast? You can get an accident. I'm telling you, too smoky. Smoky, smoky. I am listening to Sam Cook. I love me some Sam Cook. I was watching his documentary on Netflix, and it's wonderful. If you haven't seen it already, highly recommend it. Let me get back to grooving with Sam Cook. Welcome to my humble adobe. Nice big queen bed. Plenty of lights. Let's look at our outside view. Last time I had the beautiful mountains. Oh, and the pool. Oh, I'm lower. That's why. It's height. Those are the new towers they built. I do not like them. And then there's a new swimming pool area. Ain't nobody swimming. Oh. A lot of space to do my yarn. 
They got a Keurig, which I brought my own coffee. And then they supply you with some water bottles and thingamajiggers. Let's look at the bathroom, yeah? Ta -da! Oh, beautiful. Double sink, lock the towels, hair dryer, beautiful tub. That's where I'll be taking a bath, and I'll show y'all later. And private stall. Or as they call it at home, the head. So welcome to my humble adobe. I'm starving. I can't wait to jump. Oh my gosh, you gotta jump. I didn't jump too well, you know. I'm a crippled woman right now. Oh. Now we gotta try and get up. We're up. Gotta get something to eat. Look at this chair. I'll probably be sitting here hooking, but I always put a little towel there first. I never ever lay down on it just like that because y'all. You never know who was doing the hokey pokey. I ain't trying to pick up that scent. My dogs will know. Papa will know. I hope I brought everything. I was in such a hurry. I always bring extra skivvies. I got my bra, socks, pajamas, toothbrush, shampoo, conditioner. Oh, my feet hurt. I got my slippies. Actually, a little hungry. It's almost five, I think. I got some bath salts. Oh, oh my god, you should see what I packed. Big old suitcase. And then I got the bag that Aaron gave me. Full of urine. Here's my envelopes. Write these up. Gross <laughs> likes yarn. You gotta bring you with me. Right there. Well, let's get to hooking. This is my food. Some crabs. More crab. An oyster. Who loves oysters with me? Uh, uh, Ella. I know how much you love oysters and seafood. <laughs> Just kidding, Ella. Wow, guys, I don't know what's happening here. Thank you. Just sat down to eat, and this lady took my napkins. And I tell her, why are you taking my napkins? She said nobody was sitting there. I was like, Mom, you don't see me? So then the waiter came and started talking crazy. Now they're BFFs and they're over there talking crazy about me, so I'm making this video. Letting them see me in all my glory. And enjoying this delicious food. Y'all know what they can kiss. Oh yeah, big daddy. <laughs> it's awfully loud in here, but I'm gonna prepare my oyster shoot. So, oh, I got Tabasco. This is like a cocktail sauce. Well, apparently, I upset the lady that stole my napkins. She went and told, told the waiter. Now the waiter's on my ass. I already told me better calm down. Cheers, my friends. You, Rose. Mm. Some more raspberry iced tea? Thank you. I got uh, crab legs, some butter, some of that cocktail sauce. I got more oysters. Oh, Ella, 
you don't know what you're missing. And one beef rib. Y'all know I can't do pump no more. I think this might be my fifth and final plate. It's roast beef, uh, red bean, with sesame, spicy crab, and some candy yams. Yep, that's it. And a raspberry icy. Here's my little dessert. It's tiramisu. Some kind of pudding mousse chocolate some sort. Creme brulee. And this is uh, vanilla brulee. I don't know. Give it a try. I'm in my jammies. I got into and one drink. A double of gin and seven with the lime. Put twenty dollars in the machine I lost. Came back to crochet. Aaron. Oh man. Anybody wanna come rub my feetsies? <laughs> I already got my braids on. Okay, let me tell you what happened downstairs. Now y'all can hear me. When I went to go eat, you uh, leave your plates. You go get your food and you leave your, your money there. I mean, your, um, your napkin there and your receipt. So I go get my food and I come back and I see a lady at my table grabbing all my napkins. So I came up behind her and I go, hey, what's up? She's like, oh. Are you sitting here? And I said, yeah, I'm sitting here. She goes, well, there was nobody there, so I took all the napkins. And I said, do you see me? So she's like, sorry. And she threw the napkins back, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I said, I'm sitting there. I went to get my food. I'm sitting here. So I go get the butter for my crab, which was good because... Had I stayed there, I would have been really upset. Let off some steam, I come back, and I see the napkins are there again. And I'm like, dirty birdie, I'm not going to touch those napkins. So the waiter goes up to her. I see them interacting. He comes up to me, he gives me a stack, like 20 napkins, and he puts them on my table. Is that enough for you? And I go, hold up, homeboy. I didn't come here to fight. I came here to eat. Do you have to be stupid with me? And he's like, I'm not being stupid. I'm like, yeah, you are. I'm not the one that stole the napkins to begin with. She fucking stole the napkins. She's the one making a scene. And he's like, here's your napkins. So he leaves. And then she came up to me when he left. And she's like, he's a good friend of mine. I told him to bring you more napkins. And I'm like, ooh, lady. You better step back, son. I ain't had no food in my belly. And I got suppressed anger. So, the kind woman in me decided to sit facing towards her. And I ate, looking at her. She grabbed her chair and turned it all the way around. So she sat this way, grabbing her food from the table like this. I was like, oh, heifer? Fuck. Trying to get crazy with me? I come here to eat. I don't come here to fight. So they were almost done eating because I saw they were already on desserts. The whole time she has her back to me. And I don't know what she's saying. Can't hear her. So I get up and I go get something more to eat. And she turned. She, she doesn't want to see me. And I'm like... You're the one that started all this. You stole my napkins. You went and raised a fight and called a homeboy and had him throw napkins at me. <clears throat> when I come back from getting another plate, I see she's gone and they're cleaning the table. So the guy comes up to me, the waiter, and he's like, do you need anything else? I'm like, oh, you still going to fight with me? And he goes, I'm not trying to fight with you. I was fighting with her. And I said, what are you talking about? She told me you guys are BFFs and that she was going to tell you to bring me more napkins because I was bitching about it. He's like, I'm not her friend. I don't know that lady. I was yelling at her for taking everybody's napkins. 
And I said, oh, so she took other people's napkins. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I don't know who she is. I told her she better knock her shit off or she's going to get kicked out. And I was like, really? Because the whole time that we were there, he kept asking her, that table, are you okay? Do you need anything? He passed right by me. Didn't ask me if I needed anything, if I needed a refill, if I needed some more napkins. Didn't ask me nothing. But he wants to pick a fight with me. So he says, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to come at you that way. I was angry with her. It must have came off on you too. And I apologize. And I was like, hmm. Like that emoji. Hmm. He never came back. I don't know. The lady that was cleaning the tables, I was like, hey, is homeboy on break? And she's like, no. And I said, do you mind getting me another raspberry iced tea? And she's like, sure. So she got me an iced tea and I only tipped five bucks. I normally start at five and go up. Even if the meal was only five bucks, I'm going to give you five bucks. If you were great. This guy was lousy. Lousy. And I know I shouldn't have given him nothing, but all I had, the lowest denomination I had was a five dollar bill. I had to give something. <sighs> it made me sad. It messed with my energy, you know? So I start rubbing my stones and I'm like, clear my energy. Let's go win some money. Put money in at one twenty bucks. I put in twenty. I one twenty. I was like, woohoo! <laughs> Cashed out. Went to another machine. I lost my money. I only got ten dollars now. Mm. Cashed out. And uh, I'm coming here. Finish my drink, crochet, and upload the vlog. So that's what happened. <laughs> Seems I was getting into some kind of mischief wherever I travel. It ain't my fault for real. I didn't cause no problems. I just come here to eat. The lady is trying to get wicked with me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna crochet, collect myself. Don't forget, I need your addresses, your mailing address. Please email me your mailing address so I can fill out the envelopes. They're right there. I cannot fill them out. I only have like four or five people's addresses. I need some more. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So I can fill it out. When I get back, whoosh, gone. Good night. Partina said sweet sorrow.